everybody, it's Tanya. I'm uh, here to show you guys a video on how to make something for your mothers for Mother's Day. I hope everybody's doing well. I miss you all. I hope that we can talk again soon. Um, stay safe and keep washing your hands. Alright, so I will do this step by step so that I can show you guys how to do it. You will need um, a color for your background. You'll need um, green for your stems. And you also need another piece of paper, a different color for your flower. I'll do mine white like uh, daisies. You can do yours whatever color you want. All right, so first of all, you take the green and you're gonna cut it up into strips. Okay, strips don't have to be perfect. You just cut them up against, up and down. You can cut out three or four to the way, however you want, how many you want onto your paper. All right, now you can do it this way or you can do it this way. I'll do it this way so that we can fit more onto the paper. Um, now you're gonna take some glue and you will glue down the stems onto the paper that you have. Right. You can use a glue stick or you can use some white glue. The glue stick will work really well to put down things like this. Um, white glue works as well too, it's just stickier, it takes a little longer to dry. Alright, okay, once you have all your stems onto your piece of paper, like that, you can start making the flowers. You'll take your piece of paper you have for the flowers and cut them into strips as well. Okay. You can also do this um, whichever colors you want, but you can also do it with just one flower on the whole page. Instead of having a few flowers, you can do just one. You can do as many as you want. Okay. I'm going to cut up all this white paper because I'll probably need it. They don't have to be straight, they don't have to be perfect. I'm pretty sure your parents will love them either way. Your mom will love it, right? Now if you want to make them smaller, you can even go ahead and cut them in half so that they're a bit smaller, okay? My flowers will be smaller. All right, so now what you do is you take the flap the piece of paper and some glue and glue it onto the piece of paper. But just glue just the tip, not the whole thing. Okay? And you're going to be gluing them like this onto the paper. You can put them right on top of each other onto the green stem. And you just keep going around in a circle. And you Make sure that they're all kind of on top of each other, like that. Alright, they're all on top of each other, it's fine. Okay, then you're going to take a drop of glue, put it into the middle of your flower, right there, in the middle, and you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to bring it right down to the tip okay you don't you just use the tip like that okay you just hold it down to the tip and you put it right into the middle and then you continue going all the way around and using drops of glue here you go just to make sure that everything is glued down properly Just keep going around and around in a circle, going into the middle. 
Then you can take some green. And if you have a button, you can use a button as well. The buttons will work really good too. But with the buttons, you'll have to use white glue and you'll have to be patient for it to glue on. Or you can use hot glue, but you'll have to ask your mom and dad to help you out with the hot glue, right? Because hot glue can hurt you. It can burn, right? You take the little green spot and you put it right into the middle on top of all the little white flaps. See? It's all folded over. Okay, it should look like that. Then you can continue doing the rest of them, right? So you can put as many as you want. Just make sure you put just dabs of glue onto the bottom of the piece of paper. Just go around in a circle, putting all of them together into the middle. One's got more. I'll put a little bit more on this one. Okay, and then you take the glue and you glue it right into the middle again. And you pull the little white piece of paper down to the middle. Okay, and you do it again, step by step, all the way around in a circle, and just fold it over. look like that okay and then you just lift it up and do it to the middle like that okay and you keep doing that and you keep adding glue so that the glue will stick okay they said glue sticks will probably work much better with this this white glue can be pretty sticky at times all right Cut out a piece of green paper and put it in the middle. Matte, right? And you just continue doing all of your flowers, okay? Cut up some more white paper. And keep making more and more of your flowers. Okay. You can make the strips thin, you can make them long, you can make them thick, you can make them whichever way you want. This is your creation for your mother. Okay. Charming cherries and crazy kiwis know that I like them to be their own individual selves and use their creative artistic talents all right make it your own and again these ones i'm gonna cut up again to half to make them small you can make them big though you can make them really long because my paper is short, I'll make them small. Okay. Alright. Again, just little dabs of glue here and there. Just to keep it Patient. 
Sometimes it takes a while for the glue to glue. But it does glue. Alright. Alright. And that's how it looks like. Nice. And you just bring them to the middle. Like the others. Bring them to the middle. Glue them one by one to the middle. While I'm doing this, I'd like to know how you guys are doing at home, what you guys are doing to pass the time. I'm reading lots of books, watching some TV shows on Netflix, I've been going on walks with my dog, Emmy. I also have um, my two cats, and I have um, our tortoise from the daycare, Speedy. He's been keeping me company. Um, he's downstairs in this tank and he comes out every once in a while to play around with the cats and the dogs, chases them around the basement. I'd like to hear from you guys. Tell me what you guys are doing. Make a circle. And glue it into the middle. Like so. Alright, there we go. We've got three. Alright, and you just continue doing that. Do as many as you have on your paper. Okay, the last one. Again, just the ends. Just glue the ends. Don't glue the whole piece of paper down because then you're going to be able to pull them up. So just the little strips that you make, just glue the tips onto each other into the middle of the stem. To the top. the middle and then pull it down just need drops of glue and depending on how glue you're good at your how good your glue is sorry um you can hold you know my you might have to hold it down for a bit Glue all of them down. Some of them might be a little smaller than others, and that's okay. All right? They should all look like that. Okay? Make as many as you want. All right? And now, what you can do is you can um, write Happy Mother's Day on a piece of paper. Um, happy is H A P P Y Mothers M O T H E R S and Day D A Y. And then you can put love at the bottom or just your name, whichever you like. I'm pretty sure you know what 
love if you put love. And then put your name. You can even put I love you. You're the best. Whatever you like. Okay? And that's the finished product. You can put stickers. Do whatever you like. It's your project for your mom. Right? Well, that is that. It's all done. I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Send me some pictures and some videos of you guys making them so I can see how they turned out. And um, again, I miss you guys all. And uh, I'll post some more videos um, on some artwork that we can do, some crafts. All right? Okay, bye!